Welcome. Let's discuss how we can define the composition of transformations. Let's start by answering the question, what is a transformation composition? This is a term that we use whenever we apply more than one transformation into any object. Let's take a look at some examples. Now let's turn on our coordinate plane. Let's understand what we want to do here. There was a composition already made in this example. And what we want to do, we want to describe the composition that was performed. And then after that, we want to express that composition using the correct notation. So what's the strategy here? Let's start by identifying the original image. And the original image is this triangle that we have here at the bottom. How do we know that that's the original image? But notice that when it comes to our notations, there is no prime on top of the letters. That's implying that that's the original figure. Now let's try to identify the first transformation that was performed. Notice the triangle on the upper left, they all have one prime on top of it. So now the question becomes, what's the transformation that occur for us to go from triangle ABC to triangle A prime B prime C prime? Let's analyze point C. Notice that C, it got moved one unit to the left and seven units up for us to get to C prime. Is that something that occurs in every single point in this triangle? Let's see. Now for point B, we move one unit to the left and seven units up. Now, if this occurs also on point A, then we have identified the transformation. Now for A, we move one unit to the left and we also move seven units up. So notice that every single point follow this movement. This is an indicator that the first transformation was a translation of one unit to the left and seven units up. To identify the second transformation, let's think of what was the movement that occurred in order for us to go from triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, to triangle A double prime, C double prime, B double prime. Well, let's check if that is another translation. What's the movement that we need to do from A prime to A double prime? So that would be 12 units to the right. Let's see if this occurs also on the other points in this triangle. What's the movement for us to go from C prime to C double prime? So notice that that's 14 units to the right. Because we're moving by a different length, then this is definitely not a translation. So what could it be? Well, let's look at the orientation on this triangle. Notice that point A, it's kind of like on the right hand side of that triangle. And A double prime, it's on the left hand side. And notice that we also have that scenario with B prime. B prime, it's on the left. And then after some transformation, we which we do not know, it changed its location to the right hand side of the triangle. Whenever we notice this, this is a clear indicator that there was some kind of reflection into this figure. So now let's think about what is the line of reflection. If we want to go from A prime to A double prime, we have already said there's a movement of 12 units. If we find a line that is right at the middle of this distance, we should be able to identify the line of reflection. So from A prime, let's move six units to the right instead of 12. Let's go right at the middle. And notice that that will be the location of x equals 2. So now let's draw a vertical line at x equals 2. So we have already shown that this works with a prime. Now let's see if this works with b prime. From b prime to our line of reflection, that is 10 units. And our line of reflection, it's also 10 units. So it works for b prime. Now we got to check if this also works for c prime. From C prime to the line of reflection, that will be seven units. And from our line of reflection to C double prime, that's also seven units. So notice that this works for all three points. Therefore, we can claim that the second transformation was a reflection over the line x equals two. So we have identified the two transformations that were performed 
the last thing that we need to do is represent this using the correct notation. First, we had a transformation of one unit to the left and seven units up. And then we follow it with a reflection over the line x equals two. So we can represent this transformation composition using the notation in blue. And recall that this little circle right here, this is the notation for a composition. And the way that we read this composition is from right to left. First the translation and then the reflection. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.